He was a brisk young man, the farmer's son, who helped to work a small farm just off the Anglian coast. And he loved this farm, a farm he'd inherit himself one day. He loved the pale, crumbly soil that broke beneath the blade of his spade. He loved the smell of the diesel fumes from the tractor that rocked him over the uneven ground of the unplowed fields. And one day, in late summer, the sun beating down on his back, he was out in a meadow, cutting the hay. And he was cutting it in the old style, with scythe and reaping hook, just for the pleasure of the sweat on his back and the smell of the cut stalks. And as he worked, a large black bird, a crow, uncommonly large it was, swooped right down and landed a few feet from where he was cutting. He began hopping backward and forward, ducking in and underneath the blade of his side, dancing with him, playing with him, completely unheeding of the danger it was in. It was tiresome as a flea to this young man who wanted to get on with his work. And every now and again, he'd step forward to shoo the bird away, and it would fly up, and soon it would be back hopping and dancing. And eventually, the young man got tired of its game. And he stamped as hard as he could to shoo it off. 